What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today and today we're gonna be finishing up Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. I almost forgot, I almost said Rebellion. I was like, no, that doesn't sound right. Oh, and we're gonna finish it up here on the main computer at 4K, but before we hop in and look at the settings and all that, figured we'd real quick go over the specs for anyone interested. They're also always in the descriptions, all of my systems. I always put specs on all for all of them. So first we got a 13900KF, we got ourselves a MSI, let me see, MSI Gaming Trio, that's right. MSI Gaming Trio 4090, then we've got ourselves a ASUS Z790 Gaming E, it's got some G-Skill 6600 megahertz DDR5 in there, and I've tuned it all and all that stuff, so it's got really tight sub timings and all that stuff. Then we got ourselves a custom loop cooling that with a Velocity 2 block from EK, cooling the CPU along with this 420 millimeter radiator with some Noctua performance fans, or industrial fans, I mean. And then we got ourselves a, a completely overkill, I admit, EVGA 1600 watt platinum PSU. And then we got ourselves an LG C1 48 inch OLED TV as the monitor. It's 120 hertz, it's got G-Sync, FreeSync, and HDR. Pretty damn awesome. I like, really like it and the new ultra wide I got pretty much equally. They're both good at different things. One's more and more of like a first person shooter computer now. And now this one's more of like a, you know, immersive, like you need the extra horsepower to run it. You want maybe ray tracing, something like that computer. Or if one's editing or rendering, use the other one, vice versa. That's pretty much it. But that's neither here nor there. Let's not waste any more time and let's go hop on into the game and look at some setting. All right, well, this thing kept messing up and not like recording properly. So here are the settings real fast. We're gonna run it on the main computer and I think I'm just gonna go and do this all camera. If it's gonna be like that, but 4K and all that. All right, guys, let's get ourselves a little green recorded gameplay here. And at first I thought this all messed up cause I couldn't find it anywhere. Somehow it recorded as desktop even though I had it as full screen. So that's cool. So that tells me that the game is not really full screen or that shadow play just had some kind of a, a glitch. But either way, I figured it out now. I even think I said in my, in some place that it was messed up. Oh, that's right. Cause I could only find the, whatchamacallit at first, just the setting screen. And the setting screen was messing up too. That's the one thing that just would not record over and over again. I'd like say it's recording and then it just wouldn't record or it'd be like a one second recording. And I was like, what the hell? Then I finally got it to work. It just didn't look as professional as usual. But at least I showed you what the settings were, regardless, so. Better than nothing, as far as I'm concerned. It's taken damage. Patch it up. Two repair it's taken all of the damage. But it can take That's much more. Landing. Just not as much as that weird attack helicopter. Access that thing fucked me up real good. I'll get it eventually, though. Just like in every other freaking from a software game, I suck at it at first and eventually I figure it out. And if I absolutely can't figure it out after many, 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 many hours of trying, I'll eventually look it up. I just don't like just instantly. I go by, I can't figure it out instantly. I'm gonna go look it up, you know? That's just not what I like to do. That's nothing against people that do like to do that. That's just not what I like to do. That's time all. To fly, six, two, one. Ah, shit, it's time to fly. Flying through the sky so high. Misty's on the hunting mode. We'll She's hunting a, a mayfly. Plenty for a merc with a fried brain like you to buy their life back. Enough chat. Back to work. But apparently it's enough chat. It's time to get the hell back to work. So, oh, let's do just that. License. First you have to let me move though, man. All right, though, let's go ahead and attack these guys now. Oh, you know, from around. No. All right, well, you're dead. And we made short work of the other ones. Cool. Let's 
Still, though, pretty smooth, though there were still parts of the map where even the secondary computer, which isn't even at 4K, kept falling under 120 FPS. So I wonder if I can figure out where the hell that was and try and go around there here as well. Heck yeah. Pretty damn smooth though. I'm not seeing too many spots where it drops frames. What? And if it does, it's like down to 119 or 118, you know? Oh, 117. That's the PCA's planet side force. Keep a profile. Oh, 116, 112, 199, there we go. I think it was that thing blowing shit up. I think that's what was dropping frames. So if there's trillions of explosions going on, well not trillions, but you know what I mean, lots of explosions going on, then it'll it'll drop frames a little, but not to anything unplayable. Oh man, I got a freaking shot at from every single going, aren't I? Well, let's finish this one off first. Shoot some misses over at him, finish him off with a couple of well-placed shots. Try to get over here. Hide behind here for a second while I replenish a little energy. And then we can finish you guys off. You guys are just a little small for us. Oh, now we gotta get rid of the tiny little drone things. All right, now, oh, there's one more. Okay, is that it? All right, now let's move on to camera. All right, guys, let's get ourselves a little camera recorded gameplay. All I did is just like on the second computer, I just went and turned on HDR.
Well, good. So weed. There, but it was not. Well, seems to run pretty damn smooth. Nice. Obviously, it's not the, most, not the most graphically intensive game in the world, but it doesn't look terrible. Looks decent enough for what it is, just like Elden Ring. And all right, 
let's go wrap this video on up, shall we? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon on the main computer and a wrap for the game all together. And it handled it absolutely perfectly on the main computer too, just like it did on the secondary computer, just like it at 4K. So it's definitely a little bit harder to run, but this kind of game is like Elden Ring. It's not the hardest thing to run, and at least it's not as stuttery or any of that stuff like it was in Elden Ring when that first came out. So this is actually a really good freaking game. I'm excited to play it, but I'm still addicted to Bad, uh, Baldur's Gate 3, so I'm still gonna play that a little more before I do that. I'm, I'm gonna about to start my second playthrough, so I'm gonna have fun with that. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.